You're listening to a good old JR podcast. And now, Batman's X Factor experience. I'm Batman. Holler, Batman in the Jesus. How's it going, peeps? It's me, the Dark Knight, the Winged Avenger, the Caped Chap. Come to uh, talk about X Factor, but before I get to that, I want to apologize for um, all my bat peeps out there who've been expecting this uh, second episode of Batman's X Factor experience to come a little bit quicker. Um, and, and it hasn't. You know, you've been, like, waiting around, go like, Guy, where's this, like, X-Factor experience? We've only had, like, one episode. He's like, where did our appetites and whatnot? And we're like, episode two should be, like, around like. Like, and, um, and I, I have not provided it to you. And and for that, I apologize. But, you know, you know, I am busy, you know. Um, you know, some people might be busy doing work or, you know, driving buses or, or doing homework. Where's me? You know, I'm out there risking my neck. Every freaking night to keep you safe, safe on the streets. I I move in shadow and I bring justice to the to the people that um that uh, you know walk outside of the law. Uh, someone told me they said, "Batman, I, I've 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 listened to your first podcast and it's it's good, but without um without Ryan, you need to be reined in a little bit. You know, you need to I think prepare a little bit more." You know, because he, he keeps you in check and you seem to ramble a little bit. And uh, it's quite apparent that you don't, um, you know, plan what you're going to say. And I'm like, I've got notes. I've got notes. I've watched the show. And they're like, yeah, not, not the notes. You know, just we're, we're talking about you just um, talking. Maybe you should um, try to focus a little bit more. And I'm like, oh, OK. Then I uh, threw them down an elevator shaft and uh, I said to hell with what do you think? They didn't hear me. They were. They were at the bottom of a, but a bottom of an elevator shaft, and I don't see why I should have to apologize to you, dear listener, because I'm out there, you know, busting my buns every night, keeping the streets, you know, clean of scum. And uh, and I don't see why I should have to apologize. It's like a, a doctor getting back home, and then his wife's like, "Oh, where have you been?" And he's like, "Guy, I'm like a doctor. I'm like saving lives and whatever." And she's like, "He's oh, that's what you call it," and he's. He's like, what, what do you mean by that? And she says, oh, I think, you know, and he says, I don't. I, I honestly don't. And she says, I think you've been seeing that trollop of a secretary. And he says, what are you talking about? And she says, you know, that trollop of a secretary who suddenly appeared and you're you're working late a lot more now that she's arrived. And he's like, I don't know what you mean. And besides her name, Stephanie. And she's like, oh, it's Stephanie now, is it? And he's like, I don't want to talk about this. I'm a doctor guy. Get it through your head. I'm not having an affair or anything like that. And she's like, oh, I didn't mention anything about an affair. Who said anything about an affair? Oh, you got a bit of a chip on your shoulder. And, um, you know, I, I, I can relate to that. I'm Batman. But um, I suppose I should talk about X Factor. I'm going to try to be a bit quicker than I was last week. Um, I tell you what, though, X Factor related, I had something really horrible happen to me. Um, it's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And it was a, a, a sex dream. I had a sex dream about Ablisa. You know, the two... Um, the two girls, one of whom punched the other, and Simon was like, oh, she punched her mate. Oh, wait, no, it was Cheryl, wasn't it? She was like, oh, she punched her mate in the fierce lake. And um, Dermot was like, you can't strike people. You know, those two. Yeah, I had a sex dream about them. Um, them, you know, sort of being all over me, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is well buff, like two girls and whatever. And then I woke up, and I was like, guy, dude. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Because they were like, um, like well butters, and I was like, ugh. This is the worst thing that's happened to me since my parents' brains got sprayed all over my face in that alleyway. Well, butters. Anyway, what's been happening? Well, I'll tell you what, boot camp. Boot camp, yeah. Boot camp was good. It wasn't good. I lie. Um, the first episode, nothing actually happened. You know, all the people that we thought were going to get through got through, including the Welsh ganky bird. You know, that horrible bent with, like, um, massive eyelashes and whatnot. And I was like, oh, no, she's not going to get through, is she? And she did. I was like, no! She's bullsack. Why is she getting through? And then in the um, the second episode, everyone got through who was expecting them to get through, um, except her. And I was like, dude, that's so good. I'm glad she didn't get through because she's um, rubbish. And that's um, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, other than 
Show Cole and Dermot looking good. Cuddy Huck! Oh, mate, I'd plough that. And that's all I've got. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I, I confess it's a little, little prepared. I, I, I didn't bring my notes with me this week and I was still a little bit freaked out about that. I believe it's a dream. Oh, God. God, it was horrible. Um, anyway, I'll be back. I'm not sure why you want to listen to this. I mean, um, you've probably got better things to do with your time. I've, you know, I've got to go out now. I've got to slide down the bat pole and catch up with Bieber. I mean, Robin. And we're going to go out and, like, solve more crimes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. I'll be surprised if this actually uploads because my T-Mobile broadband's rubbish, but you you know about that. It hasn't improved. Okay, oh, mate, this is horrible. <laughs> I might quit. No, no, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna stay the course. You're gonna hear more more bat um, blogging about... about X Factor. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go. Okay. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Oh, I'm Batman. Batman has just flown away like a mouse holding onto a kite. Tune in next week for more X Factor discussion from the Dark Knight. The person singing this song is Caucasian. Good old JR are playing this song. Chad Kroger is the bassist. And if you think that this jingle is good, then that makes you a big racist. Racist.